<laughs> Southern Scotland. <laughs> Well, I so said I've started on this roadway, but it's beautiful. And over here, I mean, it's actually spectacular. There's a huge mountain over there. I wonder if I get to climb around that. But I guess my first little half is, is all done. Um, and now uh, on to um, so a footpath. So, see it. Oh shit. Well, huh, I think that's funny. Dangerous, poisonous monkeys. That thing's smoldering. This is a little odd. So I'm in this wondrous valley. It is spectacular. Sun's getting down. I don't know what time it is yet. But, uh, oh, yeah. This is a trek. <laughs> so, this is a cool gate that I ran into. And you open it. Little rock opens. Close it. And about eight miles into about a hundred mile hike. And feeling good, I need to get water soon. I'm running out. There's a group ahead of me. I'll catch up with them. It's looking cool. Well, I've uh, about two miles um, to my first checkpoint, uh, which is Draymond, and sun's about setting. But check this out! Can you believe that? Oh God! Wow! So I caught up with that group. It was ahead of me. There's about five of them, actually. Uh, they saw me in uh, Glasgow, and uh, I'm going to see if I can meet up with them here at this checkpoint. They stopped to take a rest, but i got about two more miles, and I think I'll be done for the day. Well, off to another glorious start in the morning. It's beautiful, about 9 o'clock. I think I'm going to do about 20 miles today. I know, um, but you know, we can see how beautiful it's out over there. Just all over the place. It's gorgeous. And uh, after a wonderful start, I met my friends from Germany and go from New York. And here I am from Florida. To start another day. Uh, pictures just don't do this place justice. Look at this. Oh my god. It's a conic sheep. C O or C H I, whatever. Conic. Loch Lomond. And I'm about to hike up that mountain right there and get a kick ass view been overtaking people all morning. People walk kind of slow. I'm on an agenda. Waterfalls, Kunik Hills, Kunik Mountain. And this is the base of the mountain. 
about to start climbing up. Wish me luck. So I, so I think I made it to the top of uh, Conic Hill, almost, I guess. But man, look at that. Yeah. Highlands, North Carolina, eat your heart out, man. This is spectacular. This is absolutely amazing. This tool ain't got nothing on this. Sorry, guys. This is, this is, well, oh wait, I still have some water. Uh. <laughs> well, I made it to the top of Kunik Hill, or mountain, as we might say. So I just took a break down at the bottom of this place, Loch Lomond, and now I'm walking along this place. Yes, this is the beach of Loch Lomond. Super nice trail. I think I'm gonna be on here for another like four or five miles. Sick. So now I'm really on the water here. Look at this. This is a, a beach in Scotland. Loch Lomond. Biggest, uh, I guess, loch and deepest in Scotland. And um, now I'm enjoying this nice rocky beach. Yeah. So, as you can imagine, I'm probably pretty tired passing Salachi, but <laughs> look what I'm walking next to. This is unbelievable. I, I, no words can describe the absolute sheer beauty of this place. Loch Lomond is just immensely enormous, and the landscape keeps changing everywhere. It's just like, I don't know how to even take a breath of this I want to keep on going because it's easy you know when you're forced to look at this absolute beauty fortunately I have another five miles before I have to um, uh, take a break for the night because I'm not allowed to camp in these areas um, the area over here is very uh protected by the Scottish um, uh, camp people, whatever that is, um, rangers, um, and rightly so because you don't want something like this being destroyed. As a matter of fact, all these uh, oaks, they're around here, um, they were planted back in the 1700s. Um, by some duke or earl or something like that. And uh, I just look at this. I mean, I can you imagine having to be here? Wah, wah. <laughs> well, I'm almost done for the night. There's Maggie's all over the place. They're like gnats, they call them Maggie's here. They're probably all up in my hair. Um, got about half a mile left for the day where I settled down. It's been wonderful. I did about 22 miles today. Amazing. One of the most spectacular days I've ever had in my whole entire life. And uh, I am ready to bury the hats for the day. I think I started around nine o'clock this morning and it is uh, around 10 o'clock right now. So I've been doing this for about 13 hours now. It's wonderful, I'm gonna sleep like a king right next to this beautiful Loch Lomond. 
and uh, I'll see you later. So I've started a fire. Um, I'm about done setting up my tent, but oh my god, these Maggies are freaking killing me. Uh, I'm like through my eyes or my nose. I'm swallowing them. I can't. Uh, they're all over the place. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Well, I made a huge rookie mistake last night while getting some water for my fire or for my food. Um, I slipped on one of these rocks and fell into the water. And I got my shoes wet, pants wet, my socks wet. I'm drying it up right now. But this is where I slept last night. Here. Still in Loch Lomond. Made all that to Ptarmigan, which is. I did about 22 miles. I'm gonna do about the same today so I can stay on track with doing about five days on this trail. The real Scottish way, according to John that I met last night. Young. <laughs> And it's a lassie. They had done it twice. And um, so now I'm drying my shoes. And hopefully this is gonna do it. It's been pretty dry so far. So I'm just trying to get the tips uh, dry, which they're dry too. So it should be on the road pretty soon. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Rise and shine. All right, well, it's 1028, and uh, my shoes are dry, and my fire's out, and my stuff is packed, and I'm off. Another glorious day. And we're out. Well, this section of the trail officially got pretty difficult, right on the coastline, you can see. And yeah. There's lots of places like this. It's not as easy as the rest of the trail has been. But I chose this path, and it's the path I'm taking. It's funny how things work out that way, huh? You choose to do things one way, and it makes it difficult for you. But uh, in the end, it's going to be rewarding. Well, I'm back on a normal trail. Plant machinery at work. This is avoid this trail, which, what other trail is there? No idea. It's still here on the lock. How much longer I've got? I think I'm almost done. Um, and I'd be happy to be out of this little forest area. Anytime you stop, these little maggies just come and attack you. So much fun. <laughs> Alright. The ruins of a super old house. So they call them wigwams. Which means I'm almost out of here. But the trail has wisened up a little bit. Pines are beautiful. And so are you. Well, this section of the trail officially got pretty difficult. Right on the coastline, you can see. And yeah, there's lots of places like this. It's not as easy as the rest of the trail has been. But I chose this path, and it's the path I'm taking. It's funny how things work out that way, huh? choose to do things one way and it makes it difficult for you but uh, in the end it's gonna be rewarding all right now now I'm on the path again path of righteousness path to freedom this is a much easier path to walk as you can see still on block climbing though I don't know how far that's going to take, how long it will. Wow, this just opened up beautifully. Look at the top of that ridge over there. I think that's Ben Lomond. Um, seeing it from the other side. It's the tallest, I mean, 
This is uh, lock lamen, so that would be bed lamen. Man, these bluebells are just amazing. I want to take one back with me. Give it to my friends.